Hi, I'm Brett. This is a video update on the MY15 Subaru WRX. In our updates that we've spoken about in the past, we've done two video updates on our road testing as well as the delivery. We've shown some updates on the dyno testing. Well, today we're going to talk about the brakes. Depending on where you are in the world, our information tells us that the brakes on the WRX are fairly consistent around the world. And the really good thing is the Subaru has upgraded the front, but actually on the back, it's quite interesting the uh, brake package that they've chosen. So um, from an R&D point of view, I'm going to show you what fits and what doesn't. For your ease of looking up these parts, if you go to the drop down menu on our MRT Performance uh, website and click the green button, you can put in MY15 Subaru WRX and then choose the option and it'll show you the brakes that fit um, this particular model. So straight away, consider that the brake caliper apart, it's got a twin piston sliding caliper. I'll get my cameraman in there close, so it's got twin pistons on the side. Um, it's not like some of the older models that had a four piston fixed caliper, it's actually a sliding caliper that slides in and out. Um, remember Subaru now have gone to the bigger stud pattern for the front brakes um, to accommodate the bigger front wheel bearing. So this is the same stud pattern as the STI. But what I want to show you down here, this is the brake rotor off last year's WRX which is the same as the uh, GTS Toyota 86 and the Subaru BRZ. This is the replacement rotor that will fit this car and you can see if I lay them over the top of each other mechanically how much bigger they are but also just look at the difference in the thickness you can see there just how bigger the new replacement rotor is now as usual we recommend the DBA uh, rotors which you can come in the plane uh, the T2 or the T3 slotted with and without the uh, 5000 series alloy hats and also what I can show you is we've already got brake pads um, in the MRT Sport range, which is that size. Um, mechanically, I was told previously this size pad is actually better than the old four spot caliper. So for those of you who are thinking about upgrading to the early model uh, fixed four piston caliper on this particular car, um, we haven't tested to see if it fits yet, but we think that will actually be a backward step. Um, Around the back here, we're pretty confident, we haven't changed them yet, but we're pretty sure by the time this video is loaded, the stainless braided uh, brake line um, will be a part number that we've got on file as well for this model. But let's go around the back, and that's where it gets really interesting. It's got a, again, um, a single um, sliding piston caliper instead of a fixed piston caliper like some of the earlier models. Um, it's got a solid rotor. Again, it's got the bigger stud pattern for the bigger PCD because, of course, you want it to be the same as the front and the back. And interestingly, um, this is the replacement uh, DBA rotor that is available for this car. But we haven't test fitted it yet because we just had our time today. But this is the uh, rotor, which is a ventilated rotor, off the back of the brakes of a Subaru BRZ Toyota GTS uh, Scion in the US. So interestingly, same diameter rotor. If you want to go to upgraded rear ventilated discs, you need to match it with the replacement matching caliper because you've got to remember the thickness in the middle here is different. You could not fit that thicker rotor. If you have a look there my camera, you can't fit that thicker disc in the caliper that comes on the uh, Subaru WRX because it mechanically won't fit. You'd have to go for the bigger um, caliper off the back of the uh, Toyota 86 um, BRZ and there's a few other models as well. Um, interestingly, um, that's the rear pad and again, we've got it available in the MRT Sport compound which will fit on the back and the braided brake line on the back which we haven't fitted to our car yet, we're pretty confident we know what that part number is as well. So again, if you want to know these particular parts, look it up in the MRT drop-down menu. Click the green box to be able to look at your particular model. Of course, if you've got an MY15, go to MY15, not MY14, because that's what everybody's calling this around the world. And um, that'll give you a range of the parts that you know will fit. Really handy way of looking up the components. As we add more and more parts, um, we've also got the part numbers coming from Whiteline for the sway bars, um, team coilovers, um, MCA shocks, a whole heap of other components as we're working on this project car, they'll be added to that drop-down menu so you can conveniently look them up and also look at the cross-reference as well. 
Um, follow us more on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Make a comment here on our video channel. Down the bottom here I'll put some uh, static photos so you can have a look at them. Click the link to our Facebook page and there will be a, a link also to the album so you can look at those static photos in a convenient way off the MRT album page on the MRT performance page on Facebook. Of course you can search it by MRT performance on the Facebook um, website and of course we really look forward to your comments on this video channel here as well because your feedback helps us know what to do more often and what to show. Our next update will be more um, R&D on this particular model. I'm enjoying driving it and um, look forward to providing that information for you soon no matter where you are in the world. On behalf of MRT Performance here in Sydney, Australia, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.